You know, as you look at all these different power structures around the planet, I'm going to talk about this once our guest is gone. They all at the top nexus in with other elites. And I think it's key to see the overall global crime syndicate of these little nation states and these little private corporate systems. The District of Columbia is its own private corporation now. This is how things are done inside the New World Order system. Going back to our guest with the website VaticanBankClaims.com and big news blitz coming up in your calls. VaticanBankClaims.com. Okay, I mean, there's so much. we got to have you back up in the future to spend the whole hour with us, sir, and take phone calls. But in the limited time today, I mean, it's, there's no doubt the Vatican admits a lot of the Nazi loot went to them. And then you were getting into Serbia and the Croats, who, for those that don't know, they were the puppets for the Nazis uh, and all the stuff there. And then who financed uh, you know, the takeover of Serbia? Uh, you're saying that's the Vatican. Uh, break that down. Well, absolutely. There, there's no question that Croatia received its funding uh, from the Vatican or Vatican financiers in 1990-1991. And that's where we think a lot of the Nazi loot went to eventually, um, to break up Yugoslavia, which was, after all, the um, uh, goal of the Germans, of the Vatican, and of the Croatians. And why was that their goal? Well, uh, think about it. Yeah, you know history, Alex. Who killed the uh, Austrian Archduke in uh, 1914 and caused the fall of all the empires? Well, that was the black hand tied in with uh, the Vatican and, and British intelligence is what I read. Yes, but uh, was a, uh, they blame uh, the Serbs for that. Ostensibly. Yes. Yeah, and, yes. and of course, that, that's why the Serbs have always been on the chopping block there in the Balkans. Um, that's the excuse, at least. And, of course, the excuse, again, for breaking up Yugoslavia, turning it into a bunch of uh, mini-states. Uh, but, but we aim to see where did this money go to and what was it used for. And, and, and to correct you there, no, the Vatican does not admit that it ever took any Nazi gold. They, they'll do everything possible but to admit to any kind of wrongdoing. Well, they even say Ratzinger wasn't a Hitler youth, though, so it's kind of getting ridiculous. Oh, absolutely. I mean, we, we know, we, we have a eyewitness, thank God, a, 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 the, a U.S. intelligence agent uh, named Bill Gallen, who was there in Rome, 1946-1947, as a young uh, counterintelligence special agent for the U.S. Army, and he investigated this, and he gave four days' worth of testimony in a deposition, verifying everything that I'm telling you today, verifying that a 10-truck convoy went in to, first to a monastery in Rome where uh, they changed out from British license plates to Vatican ones and drove right in there to uh, St. Peter's Square, claiming they had uh, church property on it. And he interviewed and debriefed the, the people involved in that operation. Okay, tell us about, there's so many things to discuss, the famous case of the Vatican banker dying and, 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 and how that ties into things. Right. Um, well, the Vatican Bank, also known as the Institute for Religious Works, um, has been involved in one scandal after another, and, and many scandals that we aren't even aware about be, because they got away with it. Um, the, the Calvi case was uh, fi high finance at its worst. Uh, it involved the largest bank in Italy, Banco Ambrosiano, involved operations in the Bahamas and ultimately in North America. Uh, some people claim it triggered the savings and loan crisis in the 1980s, and it was a uh, purposeful destabilization of Italy's largest bank uh, by a group called the P2, uh, who I think are were Illuminati and one of their many guises, they, the idea being to take over Italy. Um, and it, it caused disruptions worldwide. The, the, the people involved, uh, Sindona and Calvi, uh, both died mysteriously. Uh, Marcinkus went into hiding at Sun City, Arizona. And the, the epicenter of the whole thing was the Vatican. So it's a Sort of like the Dan Brown book. Do you think uh, that the Vatican is at the uh, heart of the European Union? Because I, I'm trying to learn and ferret this out. I know Blair has converted so that he can be head of the EU. That's admitted. I know that uh, the European Union, the, they say that is Roman Catholic, and that they want it to, you know, be the new quote center of a global Europe, according to the British Prime Minister Gordon Brown. 
and that the Treaty of Rome shut up the European Union, and now U.S. Army documents have been declassified. You probably know about this, that the Nazis knew they were going to lose in 44, so they put their money into dummy corporations and said, we will rise again as a European Union. Are you familiar with that? Well, yeah, I'm, I'm familiar with that theory, and there is a lot of things to support that. Uh, first of all, some of the symbolism, even even the flag of the European Union and of the Council of Europe is taken from the altar at the Cathedral of Strasbourg. That is those stars, that circular uh, stars. Um, and the, there was a pre-runner, a forerunner to the European Union called the, uh, um, trying to think, Pan-Europa uh, Union, and uh, it, had a, it was the same flag except with a cross in the middle of it. So, Stay there. Yeah. Let's do five more minutes on the other side with our guest, Dr. Jonathan Levy, Vatican, bankclaims.com. We're on the march. The empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. What can you do to keep you and your family safe from the resistant new strains of deadly bacteria and viruses? Check out SupernaturalSilver.com today or visit the link on InfoWars.com to find out more about this incredible new silver compound. The new silver solution is a natural antibiotic that is clinically tested to kill viruses, germs, bacteria, and yeast safely. This new technology has proven itself to be a formidable weapon against bio threats of today and tomorrow. The new silver solution gel has been shown to disinfect topically and keep the area sanitized for up to four hours. The new silver solution is a highly effective potent nanoparticle solution that is lethal to bacteria, yeast, and viruses. Go to SupernaturalSilver.com and see the amazing line of products they have available. Check out the patented new silver solution today. Click on the link and check out the uses for new silver solution. Order this extra line of defense today by going to SupernaturalSilver.com. That's SupernaturalSilver.com today. In the New World Order's war against humanity, Barack Obama is the tip of the spear. We've got to have a civilian national security force that's just as powerful, just as strong, just as well-funded. The Obama deception completely destroys the myth that Obama is working for the best interest of the American people. Well, Obama's already fudging. He's yeah. fudged since day one in this election. If you have a demagogue with a fanatical mass movement, a personality cultist, who is imposing the program of a group of extreme bankers and finance oligarchs, that's fascism. It's not about left or right. It's about a one-world government. This film documents who Obama works for, the lies he has told, and his real agenda. Get your copy of The Obama Deception today at Infowars.com or download it in super high quality at PrisonPlanet.tv. The Obama Deception. The people strike back. Since 1991, The Seven Store has been helping you prepare in the event of an emergency. The Seven Store is unlike any company you have ever seen, offering a complete line of products that will prepare you for any catastrophe. At The Seven Store, we do something very different for our customers. Out of hundreds of preparedness companies in the United States, we are the only one who offers the most complete variety of preparedness items. From storable food, survival, terror and pandemic kits, water storage and self-reliant items, The Seven Store is your place for preparedness. The Seven Plan, our 46-page preparedness guidebook, is your go-to guide to help you prepare for the unexpected. You can get this book with no purchase or obligation absolutely free. For more information, please visit us online at the7store.net. That's the7store.net. Or call us today at 888-654-3447. That's 888-654-3447.